He's back in. He's Spoopy gone. is He's going back. with the Toon Link all right. up against VB's hero. All right, all right. Tried and true hero. No surprise there. The Toon Link as well. And let's get right into the set. We're starting on PS2. <laughs> Both players immediately throwing out their projectiles, getting ready. Suit up. Yeah, no, we're definitely going to be seeing a lot of projectiles fly in this particular matchup. So... <clears throat> Coming in on PS2, definitely one of Hero's better stages, I think, especially against a character who likes to stay at range like Toon Link does. Uh, because, you know, we say it time and time again, if you give Vivi an inch of space, they're going into that menu. They're finding what yeah, they can. They're going to take a mile. And as we see, the Accelerattle and the Psycho Blues on deck as well, already trying to Ooh. extend their lead, 84 to the 25. But hold up, Spoopy's getting a little conversion going. What you got? What you got? Great timing with the boomerang, but just just missed barely. Right there. And great juggle situation. Trying to extend it with the boomerang, not uh, getting anything off of it, however. Yeah. The, the bounce, we have to you know remember how amazing that is in this matchup as well. But Ooh. great uppy to catch the... the uppy from and, and catching the zoom, wow. too. Wow, this is definitely Spoopy's stock, and you would not have expected it from the way things were going in the beginning. But Take the, this man to the <laughs> slots. <laughs> the bounce is on deck, though. And, you know, Spoopy's going to have to be more careful, but... <laughs> and a bomb just eating right wow. through the kaboom, but I think Spoopy was... Uh, it kind of had a deer in headlights situation after that happened. Yeah. Vivi just came in and murked him for Not it. expecting that whole, like, kaboom exchange or, you know, whatever Vivi was going to do after. Probably expecting them to chill out and just, like, relax in the back, but nope. Yep. Oh! What? That was definitely a kaboom into Kamikaze. Into I, <laughs> I think that's the first time I've ever seen Vivi click Kamikaze on stream. Crit? Oh, but if it, oh, no crit. Crit would have definitely done it right there, but a magic, a magic burst. burst? Vivi's just barely hanging on to life. Good delay by Spoopy. An up, early up B could have definitely sealed his fate right there. Vivi is playing expensively in yeah. this game one. But this is keeping Spoopy on the ledge is amazing and not taking any percent either, but there's Spoopy's entrance way with the dash attack. A little down tilt trip into okay, we got a little combo, a little conversion right there. Throw him off stage. What is he gonna do? What's the play? And I don't really know about using magic burst in that scenario. Oh, oh. dear. And just like you said, I don't think the magic burst was the play for Because the thing is it put VV at zero mana, yeah. and now you're a stock behind, and you have to approach the Toon Link with no buffs to try and get your mana back up. You're just running right into all of the projectiles. They were doing great at keeping Spoopy at the ledge for a time being, but it was only you know a matter of time before Spoopy was just able to get like one dash attack in a What convert. percent did Vivi Kamikaze at? It it was so early. Twelve percent. Yeah, that, they basically played without a stock. That there. was an expensive Kamikaze. <laughs> Changing the skin and immediately going for the kaboom. Playing very expensive, as you said, already at thirty, but now you know quickly building that percent back up. Vivi is rushing Spoopy down, not giving them any time. To breathe a Ooh. spot dodge into a down smash and, and the, the taunt too. coming out. Wow, that was an amazing zero to death by Vivi right there. Just uh, uh, completely choosing the right decisions and options, and you know, paid off. Yeah, no, this is. I mean, we we called it expensive, but, but this, aggressive as well. Yeah, this is an efficient. <laughs> yeah, Vivi is mad after that kamikaze and uh, SD from game one, and they are coming out swinging, running it back to PS2 immediately. Oh, but hold up. Spoopy coming up with a little late up air to back her into. Ooh, almost taking it. Ending not it able off. to find the zoom. And Kaswoosh <laughs> not going to be able to do it either. Just barely not being able to hit the ledge. Spoopy just hanging on, just chilling at the ledge. Not giving Vivi anything to you know, recover or get back to stage with. Yep. That being said, though, bounce and accelerate, but Spoopy just able to <laughs> just dash <laughs> across like half the stage and get a dash attack. <laughs> just a dash attack. On Toon yeah. Link's tiny little legs. And we have to keep in mind, Vivi really doesn't have too much mana to play with here. But that being said, Spoopy is off stage at a high cool. percent. Psych up or Oomph is online. I did not catch yep, that. That is uh, Psych up. We saw Vivi looking for that uh, a second forward throw. Not going to be finding it quite yet. Psych up still online. Might Ooh. be in Psych up throw percentages, but the Zapple not going to be doing it quite yet. Only 12 mana on Vivi right now. Going to see if they can uh, find something efficient. Oh, le letting go of their shield, thinking maybe that Vivi wasn't going to delay that F tilt, but that was a great delay just, you know, to end that stock tank of a uh, stock Scooby had just right there. Okay. Yep. 
bounces back online. But Spoopy has been playing very, you know, effectively around that bounce, not really, you know, giving VV anything for free. And great awareness right there by Spoopy, just barely able to shield that kaboom after landing on that uh, right platform. Yeah, that was just great, you know, precision and accuracy right there. Both of these players, you know, being in winner's quarters, it ain't no mistake. <laughs> Cute little interaction right there, just, you know, poking fun. You're not going to throw this bomb. I know you're not. Yeah, Vivi had the, the shield up during the crouch, so you saw it just, like, bounce right off of them. <laughs> Spoopy may be waiting Vivi for it to, like, you know, not crouch anymore, but nope, he was, they were committed. Well, All right. Immediate run, run up. in. That was great. Standing at like a, a far away distance to threaten the neutral Ooh. get up punish and wow, just dashing back and forth, glowing red and green at the same time. That is so frightening. Yep, still has psych up online, but using it on the forward throw, not gonna be definitely not gonna be killing that far away from ledge. Spoopy now using more projectiles as you know bounces offline. VV not having too much Ooh. mana, but sniping that back air and Spoopy's recovery off stage. Great way to end game two. An excellent beginning to the game as well, but we still, you know, saw Spoopy kind of like crawling back. It wasn't by any means sealed, but he uh, closed it out excellently. Yeah, no, and I mean, definitely even without bounce, when Vivi has just Accelerottle, like, it really shuts down Spoopy's uh, projectile plan because the threat range at which Vivi can whiff punish a projectile is so much bigger. Yeah facts like spoopy being on ledge and then choosing any option maybe just da dashing back and forth is like so scary yeah it's, it's just it's like <laughs> falcon on steroids yeah yeah essentially and then w w if he has bounced as well oh wow the headshot <laughs> headshot yeah maybe just barely letting go of crouch and getting hit by that boomerang there well seven eight percent he didn't really necessarily want to take but you know that's not what's going to determine this game psyching up kabooming spoopy just jumping right over that though Yep, so we've got Hollow Bastion here as uh, Spoopy's counter pick. So I feel like this is definitely going to be a momentum heavy set, or yeah. uh, game three rather, uh, because I feel like whoever is controlling that center that center area. Platform, yeah. yeah. That bunker, kind of. Yeah. Like if Spoopy is able to, you know, use projectiles to effectively like close out that range, not let Vivi approach them, it's really hard for, I guess, Vivi to get anything started. As we yeah. see, just Spoopy just waiting under the platform. Wow. but. That's Vivi tossing Spoopy off stage, threatening so the back scary. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, but amazing parry, amazing awareness by Spoopy. Not getting any punishes off of it, but not letting Vivi get anything either. Right. That's very important with, you know, Accelerado and Psycho Bomb. Great Ooh. bomb conversion to the fair, taking the stock. Wow. Yeah. Didn't didn't quite look like correct DI from Vivi, but great stuff from Spoopy. That's something that we saw in game one was like Spoopy's advantage state was so good in that game one. We saw some amazing conversions. And I mean, that's kind of where Hero can struggle a little bit. You know, Hero does not have the best disadvantage, but just a, a raw F tilt going to be putting Vivi back into even stocks. Oh. All right. Yeah, even though this is, I would say, like you said, a uh, momentum favored like set at game three, it seems like both these players aren't giving it their all and not letting any player like take a, a major advantage. As we oh already see God. Vivi taking the lead immediately with this quick 62 percent we'll be fighting back though a little bit of a teabag too <laughs> teabag just trying to match down b clearly oh be careful that accelerado down throw is so dangerous near the ledge the play yep tossing Spoopy off stage this just is scary. covering so much oh Boom. that's a big punish the first time uh spoopy threw out that up b and it led to that yeah amazing stagger pressure from vv Making Spoopy believe that it was fine, and oh, I was, <laughs> I was counting BB's uh, stars right there. I thought he, he had, um, they SD'd once again. Yep. Another forwarder barely not um, taking the stock though. I wouldn't say it was great. The I was more just like you know jumping out of hit stun right there. Another forward air. Yep. All right, again looking for these F tilts, but Spoopy just not finding them. And this is kind of what I was saying before, Spoopy going into the, the center area and just pulling out a bomb. I feel like that position is definitely better for Toon Link than it is for Hero. Hero really likes platforms on the sides where the hero can just go to the other side of the stage and start pulling out menu because, you know, the platforms offer so much protection. Whereas on this stage, they don't quite have as much uh, stage position. And with Vivi at such a high percent, it's hard for them to play with, uh, you know, their spells right now. Only at 20 mana, 
it's hard for them to find the kill, trying to get, you know, those sword swings in. But as you said, that bunker of that platform right there, it's making it really hard for Hero to approach. Yeah. Especially with these arrows, these bombs, these boomerangs, and the tether too. Just so many things you have to take into account. While that being this said though, you know, Spoopy kind of in an awkward position right now. We saw Spoopy get a... Uh a bomb hit, which usually should be a free stock for Toon Link, but I think Vivi's percent is just a little bit too high that Spoopy's gonna have to find something raw, like a raw forward air, back air. Oh, wow. All, taking a nearly 25% from that down air and eating a jab, but still not being able to take the stock. Wow, zooming with zero mana left, that's insane. Vivi truly being the ultimate stock tank right now. That is that is the calculator right there. You gotta, uh, you gotta budget your mana. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Spoopy. It's he, they're not approaching, but you really need to like seal out the stock because right now it just seems a little too late, especially with Hero glowing red. But all right, with VV, you know, blessing Spoopy yeah, with think. the stock right there. Maybe, uh, <laughs> maybe I spoke too soon. I saw I saw VV hovering over Magic Burst again for a second. It's like, what are you? <laughs> have we learned? Wait, hold on a second. VV was low on mana, but then a few forward tilts and jabs. Now they're trying oh, yeah. at 33. And All um, right, yeah, just <laughs> immediate, a very fast and quick sizzle. You really, you know, like, as soon as VV saw that, it was kind of GG because I, I doubt Spoopy really, like, believed that they were going to be put into a position. Yeah, where, at, that per, look, at that point, it's just immediate. He was just waiting. He was trying to react, but, you know, at that distance, he VV was essentially just waiting for that ledge get up right there. Yeah, even if VV didn't get the sizzle, like, Psych Up, Accelerottle, they were able to cover so much after that. So Spoopy just kind of had another deer in headlights moment. Yeah, just holding a bomb, like, praying <laughs> that VV does something stupid so uh, he could throw the, um, them off stage. Maybe get a forward air kill, but it was a little too little too late. And VV's second stock was definitely the MVP of that game. Unfortunate up B right here that you're gonna eat a F smash for that, and uh, that's really kind of what determined you know uh, how how VV was able to like stock tank for so long. Yeah, no, Spoopy was absolutely expecting the jab three out of that. Thought them slipping right there, but you know a great set, a great game three. <laughs> And once again, powering up. <laughs> Vivi standing half a stage away and Spoopy just kind of deer in <laughs> headlights. I just heard like the Ultra Instinct theme <laughs> over there. Yeah, it's just so scary though. It's like, oh my God, it's so fast too. Playing friendlies against like my friend's heroes is, is also like, I'm so annoying because they're, they're the type of hero to just, you know, click their menu and just click anything. Yeah. Even if it's Kamikaze or Kaboom, they're just so lucky. And I the feel wild like, card. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and the wild card always seems to work on me. I don't know, I just got bad luck or something, but you know, I can't be blaming the game. But hey, 